Babe, wake up. A new Sims 4 trailer just dropped. Good morning, guys. I just woke up and there's a new Sims trailer out for the new expansion pack that is coming soon. It is called the Sims 4 Life and Death expansion pack. I'm doing a trailer reaction to this because I am really, really excited about this one. I literally, I can't even believe they're making a whole expansion pack about death. I don't know what the life part is, but I am so excited to find out. I have not watched the trailer yet. Um, I wanted to do a first impressions with you guys in a video. So without any further ado, let's just freaking get into it, shall we? I have it muted because I don't want to get copyrighted or whatever. Uh, but holy crap, I'm so excited. It's a three minute long trailer. So let's just watch it together and then um, we'll watch it again after and I'll, I'll throw in my commentary, okay? Let's go. Wow. Gameplay trailer October 17th. That's in two weeks. Oh my gosh. Purchased by December 12th to get... To get what now? Hold on. Macabre mementos. That's how you say it, right? Macabre. <laughs> uh, so lasting legacy, family portrait, mournful melodies, music box, and plumbed elegance mask. Okay. Ugh, it's literally so much better with music, but I don't want to get copyrighted. <laughs> All right, let's watch it again and we'll kind of like talk through it this time. So the main thing that I took away from this was that there are a lot more like activities you can do if you're playing as a ghost. I don't know, but I have no idea what this is. Um, is he like channeling his spirit through this bird and making it do things like using it as a puppet? Because it's... I I don't even know. I have no idea what this is. Um, but it looks like a grandpa and his granddaughter. I'm not really sure. But it looks like there's tarot uh, reading now, which is cool. Um, he got the... He, I, I guess he got like a, a death card. And he's telling her that he got it. I see the paranormal ghosts in the background. I see a lot of like um paranormal and realm of magic 
like I feel like all the, those packs are all these packs including this one are gonna like work really well together I don't even know let's see so yeah it looks like mother father son daughter um and the dad it looks like there's a new death where you can die in your sleep in bed um and it looks like his life force is leaving his body i don't know what that's all about i don't know where it's going but actually is that his wife they, they might all be his kids i'm not really sure this looks like the new world it looks really um it looks like, uh, Vic I don't want to say Victorian. It looks old, like elegant. Um, I don't even know. I have such a hard time like describing things, but yeah, it feels like, um, definitely like an older, like old fashioned themed world. Mm, I don't know what that Mount Rushmore thing is about. Hold on. Let me, let me go back to these slides. So, um, uh, coffins, rocking chair, um all of this like new decor it's actually really beautiful i love these chairs um i don't know what that is that like a new frog cage that's really cool too this grim reaper photo up here um shoot i just realized you guys can't really see the whole screen oh well it's okay and then here we have hmm is that like a new like gravestone style uh, where they can be like buried above ground. I don't know why there's a freaking cannonball launch. Oh, I think those are the party launcher things. <laughs> These wreaths on the easels, those are beautiful. Um, this just looks like a outdoor. F oh, I think it's showing like different types of funerals you can have. Yeah, I think so. Or like wakes or, or things like that. Oh, wow. I really like the color palette on this one. This centerpiece with the triangle, that's so cool. This trunk, this urn. Mmm, very cool. Here's another one. Um, this coffin, like this is so extravagant. I'm wondering, are they all this, this the same funeral, but different like events? Um, there's different, looks like there's different ways to console death now. I don't, the kids were like praying at the coffin. That is such a cool hair. I'm so excited for that. And I love that he's pouring one out for him. And look at this gnome with the flower. <laughs> uh, let's see. She is giving herself a pep talk, it looks like, before her funeral speech. Oh, wow. And then this is the will. I think these might be her siblings. I can't tell if that's her mom or not. But yeah, this is the will and there it looks like they're fighting over it. Very realistic, very realistic indeed. <laughs> um, oh my God, yeah, the freaking ghost cow plant. That's epic, that's absolutely epic. Look, they're fighting in the background. Wow, they're, they're actually resorting to fisticuffs. Um, okay, so she looks like we have like soul's journey bucket list i don't know is she i can't i can't tell in this trailer if she's dead or alive but find the well of longing and regret the last time we've had a wishing well was with the romantic gardens pack um you can wish for things like happiness money children love a promotion uh youthful vigor and you have to like give large donations of simoleons to get the well in your favor and if the well is happy enough with your donation and you make a wish for something, there are a bunch of outcomes that can happen. Some of them negative, some of them neutral, and some of them like really good. Uh, and you can wish for, you can wish for a child and sometimes it'll like spawn a child randomly and just automatically add them to your family and automatically they'll be your child. So this looks like a new kind of wishing well, which I'm really excited for because I absolutely love the other one. I feel like I use it all the time. But yeah, this one has like a spooky glow to it. I don't know who this child is. Sometimes you can get a ghost child from the wishing well as well. So I don't know. I don't know what that's about. Um, Spend a day outside. I think it's kind of cool that you can have a bucket list now. I actually love that. I wonder if you can curate it or if it's randomly generated. You can romance ghosts. I think that's always been a thing. 
because Ren in my Lexi challenge actually lost her virginity to a ghost. <laughs> and this lake, it reminds me of the one in Moonwood Mill because it's all sparkly and glittery. I always found that very beautiful. And I think that this might turn Sims into ghosts because she's human here. She goes in the swim in the lake and she comes out a ghost. So it's kind of like the same concept as werewolves. Um, if you want to be a werewolf, you have to like go swimming in the sparkling lake in Moonwood Mill on a full moon. Um, I think that's how it works. But yeah, it looks like this is like kind of the same concept. And look, we got the Captain whatever bonefish swimming around in here. <laughs> this looks really cool. It's like very swampy over here. I really hope the world is cool. Like I was so disappointed with Forgotten Hollow and uh, Glimmerbrook. Both of like the occult worlds just, they weren't really up to, to my standards. <laughs> so I hope this one's really cool. Um, so now she's got these bucket list things as a ghost. I don't know if this is like temporary, like a plant sim. Oh, it looks like she can turn into a ghost on command and be the Grim Reaper. Yeah, there was speculations that you could become the Grim Reaper in this new expansion pack. So, I don't know. I don't, is it like a career? Gosh, I think so, because it just said quit that job. So, <laughs> um, Let's see. Let me go back a bit. Is this like Grim's lair or something that she's going to through the portal? Um... Is this Grimm's house? Like, is there gonna be a Grim Reaper house now that you can visit? And why Why is he taking his hood off? I'm confused. I don't know, that confuses me a little bit. And she's having memories of when she was a child, I think. Yeah. And... Who is this now? Is this the same Sim? I, I have no idea. Or is this like her daughter? Look at all the graveyards. Oh my gosh. This one, hold on. This one is especially crazy. So there's gonna be graveyards now. I assume, unless you have to like make them yourself. But look at all these Sims mourning. Oh my God, can you be a graveyard worker? Is that her as an adult or something? And he's letting, she's letting his spirit go. I don't know. Embrace what's next. Also this. Can babies die now? So if they're introducing like child deaths, wow, that would be insane. I honestly don't know what else this could mean, but yeah. Man, if that's the case, things just got so much harder. This mausoleum. Oh my goodness. And of course it comes out on Halloween. <laughs> that is so exciting. Just another thing to look forward to this month. It is one of the best months of the year. All of the Burr months are the best. Holy crap. I am so excited for the gameplay. Um, seeing the build and buy items in the trailer. It's not really my style. I don't really like to build with that kind of stuff, but um, just having it as an option and the cast stuff looks amazing as well. Oh man, I cannot wait to watch the gameplay trailer in two weeks. I will probably make another video because I'm super excited about this expansion pack. But let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you have heard. Let me know what you observed in the trailer that I may have missed. I would love to hear you guys' opinions and if you're excited about this pack or not. And if this is your first time here, hello, my name is Savannah. I have so much Sims content on my channel from builds to cast videos to a bunch of challenges and gameplay. So if you're interested in that kind of thing, come join the family and I will see you in another video very, very soon. I love you. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.